Hi Year 10s, um, in this video we're going to look at solving one step equations um, but before we get there I, I just want to um, illustrate a little bit of um, how these work so when you've got an equal sign that's like the pivot on a scale so if you can imagine you've got like um, a, a base with like a tower type thing and then you've got um, a cross beam like that and you've got it balanced with you know a couple of plates um, like that. So a real old school type scale is that um, you probably don't see much these days. And so the idea is that um, you know if you put some weights on this side then that side goes down and it would start to look like this. Okay. Um, and the, the same is true when you've got an equation. Um, um, but I'll get to that in a second. So say if we had those weights there and we wanted to make it equal again, um, we'd have to put the same number of weights here, and then that would press that down and put that up and make it equal again, make it go back um, flat like this, with the same amount of weight on each side. And so an equals works the same way. Um, if you've got an equals like this, if I put a five here, then I'd have to put a five there to make it equal. Um, if I, say, added six to this side, I'd end up with 11. And if I still wanted it to be equal to the other side, I'd have to add 6 to the other side as well to get 11 as well. And uh, that same principle applies when we're solving equations. Um, so this video is going to be a little bit longer than some of the ones you're used to, but it's just a really important concept that I want to go into detail with. Okay, so with this first example here, we want to find out, work out what x is equal to. And so we've got to think, well, what is this plus 5 doing to x at the moment? Well, it's adding 5 to it. And the reason why we need to think about that is because we want to think, well, how can I get just x by itself? And the way that we would get x by itself would be if we could get rid of this 5. So you think to yourself, well, what's the opposite of adding 5? Well, the opposite of adding 5 is minus and 5. So we write minus 5 underneath okay um, and then we think about our scales example if we take 5 off this side well we have to take 5 off the other side as well so what happens is when you've got a plus 5 and a minus 5 they cancel out and all you're left with is x and so we write that underneath x equals on the other side we have 6 minus 5 and 6 foot minus 5 is 1 and that's our answer, that's our solution. Now if we wanted to check that our solution was right, we could put 1 back into our original equation instead of x and see if it works. So let's see, instead of x we'll write 1, and then we've got plus 5, and does that equal 6? Yep, it does, and so we know our equation is correct. Okay, so let's see if we can apply that principle to our next example. So in our next example, we've got minus 3. So the opposite of subtracting 3 is adding 3. So I'm going to write plus 3 on both sides of the equals. So these ones cancel out. And we're just left with x. So I'm going to write x underneath. And on the other side, we have 7 plus 3, which is 10. And that's it. We're finished. So let's just check. 10 minus 3, does that equal 7? Yes, it does. So we know we've got it correct. Okay. Um, the next uh, examples, um, we've got to look at x and see what's being done to it. So here, x is being divided by 12. So we've got to think to ourselves, what's the opposite of dividing? Well, that's times in. So we're going to um, times by 12 on both sides. And so that... 12 and divide by 12 cancels each other out and we're just left with x and on the other side we've got 3 times 12 which is 36 and so let's check if our answer is correct 36 divided by 12 does that equal 3 yep it does so we've now know we've got it right okay one more example so in this example we've got negative 3 timesing with x now, um, it is times in. Um, that th negative there just means negative. It's not minusing. And when you write a number next to a letter, it means that it's times in. 
So we've got to think, well, what's the opposite of timesing? Well, the opposite of timesing is dividing. So we're going to divide both sides by 3. And we're going to write a divide like a fraction sign. So we're going to divide by 3 on both sides. And actually, because this is negative 3, we're going to divide by negative 3 on both sides. So that the negatives cancel out and the 3s cancel out. And all we're left with is x. So we can write x equals, and then we've got 21 divided by 3, so that's 7. And so 21 divided by negative 3 would be negative 7. So let's just see if that works. So negative 3 times negative 7, does that equal 21? Well, the negatives cancel out, so yep, that works. And so we know we've got the right answer. Okay, so those are all one-step equations, and there's a whole lot of examples in exercise 10.04. Have a go at those. And um, this is a really important concept, so if you don't understand it, make sure that you come and ask me about it in class. Okay?